Hi, so in this video, I'm going to teach you the symbols or the meaning of symbols that you can find in every computer motherboard. Because the first thing to understand is symbols. If you understand the compound symbols, you can understand how to read any computer schematic. So let's get started. So let's begin with this page, as you can see here. So let's begin with this symbol as you can see this is basically for the mosfet as you can see this is an eight pin mosfet okay here we have three pins connected together this is the source here we have the gate and here we have the drain four pins connected together here as you can see we have inductor pl7 means inductor this is the reference or the capacity for this inductor so for the mosfet its reference in the motherboard is pq as you can see or q you can find pq or q so for the ic as you can see here we have an ic so always the ic can contain eight pin or more so it, it could contain of course six pin also so this is the ic its reference is u p u or u as you can so pay attention do not confuse between a mosfet with eight pin and an ic with eight pin so the reference for the mosfet is q or pq as you can see and the reference for the ic is u or p u okay so of course any IC contain many pins, especially the VN, the operator voltage for the IC or the voltage input. We have the ground, so we have the power good, we have the V out, okay, and other signals. So let's see another component here. We have the current sense resistor. This is the current sense resistor. Its reference is r or pr as you can see here we have capacitors this is a ceramic capacitors or pf capacitors we called it pf capacitors because usually its capacity is in picofarad but here as you can see its capacity is in microfarad we have here u or 10 microfarad and 25 volts okay so this symbol is for the ground this is analog ground okay here we have analog ground so let's move on here we have so resistors this is the symbol for resistors we have pr or r okay so here we have an ic here we have diode as you can see we have diode this is zener diode okay this is the symbol for the zener diode so the reference for the zener diode or any diode is d or p d okay but sometimes you can find a zener diode with z d or z d means zener diode here we have another diode this is a normal diode over here and here we have here the zener diode with this symbol so here we have another kind of mosfets with three pins or three terminals as you can see so here as you can see this symbol basically is for the transistor as you can see this is transistor with three terminals as you can see so here this is the base okay here we have the collector and here emitter okay so this is symbol for transistor and this symbol is for the MOSFET, okay? So always try to distinguish or to differentiate between transistor and MOSFET, okay? And you can, of course, find a transistor with three terminals or eight terminals. So here, as you can see, we have another kind of capacitors. This is electrolytic capacitor or chemical capacitor, as you can see. So these two capacitors has as a purpose or have as a purpose to filter the current. As you can see, we have here the V core. This is the voltage for the processor or for the CPU, central processing unit. So the capacity for this capacitors is 320 to the microfarad and 
two valves okay so this is inductor or coil mosfet ceramic capacitors and here as you can see this is a double mosfet okay we have pq14 this is double mosfet this is the part number of for this mosfet it is 14 dy this is a double mosfet okay so for example if you want to know about this mosfet for example you can just or to, to know more details about this MOSFET. So let's zoom a little bit. So here we have the reference. Let's take this reference, for example, and copy it. And we can just go to Google. Here we go. Let's paste the reference here. Paste. As you can see here, we have SI4914 DY datasheet. So let's select datasheet. So here we have the first, let's take the first result here. So let's see here we have the same part number and here we have the PDF file. Here we have four P means four pages. This is a dual P channel. MOSFET as I told you before. This is a DLP channel 30 volt MOSFET. So let's just click over here in the PDF file in order to download this file. Here we have download as you can see. Let's click again here. Here we go. We have the PDF file as you can see here. So this is a DLP channel 30 volt MOSFET. You can just click here, this icon over here, in order to download the data sheet to your computer. So let's click download. So you should just enter this security code, as you can see here. So we have the reference, the same part number, DLP channel 30 volt MOSFET. So let's enter this security code 366 36691. Nine one and just hit download. Here we go. As you can see, here, we have the download over here. Okay, one download in progress. As you can see, now the file is downloaded. Let's open it. Here we go. So DLP channel 30 volt MOSFET. This is the part number. As you can see here. So this is, as you can see, the pin in or the pin out of the MOSFET. So we have here source gate, source gate. And over here we have four drains. Okay, so we have two gates, means a DL MOSFET. Okay, so over here we have the characteristics of MOSFETs in this table, including the voltage limit, the temperature limit, etc. Okay, as you can see. All these are characteristics if you want to study in detail this MOSFET. Okay, so let's go back to our schematic. Okay, so this is for this MOSFET. You can take, as you can see here, any reference for any component and just go to Google, paste it, and look for its details, its circuit diagram. So this symbol basically is for holes. You can find some holes in the motherboards that are connected to the ground. Okay, these holes are all these holes in the motherboards are connected to the ground. So this is the symbol for these holes. You can use these holes when you want to to do a measure a measurement in the motherboard. You put the black probe of the multimeter in these holes. Okay. So this is here, as you can see, the symbol for switches. As you can see, we have SW. This is basically switches. Here we have LEDs, light emitting diodes, as you can see. This is LEDs, the symbol for LEDs. So this symbols, as you can see here, means, for example, this means the direction of the signal is from left to right. The signal comes from this IC and goes to these pages, to CIRN, okay? And for this, for example, the direction is in other direction, as you can see, from right to left. And for those, this is 
a, a B directional. Okay, the, di the direction of signals in is in both directions. Okay, so this is basically this symbol is for crystal oscillator. This is the symbol for crystal oscillator. We have its reference is Y. You can find its reference Y or X. So this symbol is for connector. As you can see, when you find this kind of symbol, it means connector with two terminals. Okay, with two terminals. Here we have fuse, as you can see. This is fuse, the symbol for the fuse. We have here inductor, and here we have diodes. This is basically for diodes. So the symbol for amplifier, this is an amplifier, as you can see. So we have here another amplifier. This is another symbol for amplifier. We have here connector, as you can see, this symbol also is for connector. We have zener diodes, resistor, serum capacitors, inductors, the direction of signals, as you can see. We have MOSFETs, 8-pin MOSFETs, a diode with three terminals. Here we have a diode with two terminals and diode with three terminals, as you can see, one, two, three. Electrolytic capacitor, current sense resistor. We have here IC, controller IC. We have here another IC. This symbol basically is for the power jack, as you can see, the power jack. Here we have power jack, as you can see, okay? And here we have two inductors. Here we have 19 volt will pass through these inductors and then through this diode with three terminals and so on. So we're gonna continue in other videos, you know, other symbols. We're gonna see other symbols. I don't want to make the video a very long video in order to be concentrated. Okay. So we're gonna make every day I'm going to upload more videos about schematics i want my followers to become professionals in schematic reading thank you very much and please don't forget to like the video to share it and to subscribe if not already subscribed and of course for anyone who wants more content and more videos and more explanation about schematics, how to repair motherboards and laptops, etc. You can just go to my Patreon page where I can discuss with you one on one. And of course, for anyone who wants to ask me, you are very welcome. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.